Hey, it's Ryan Gillard here at Real Broker, your Calgary realtor. And Calgary is typically known as one of the most livable cities in the entire world. It is Canada's fourth largest city, the center of Canada's energy industry, and home to the second most head offices in the country outside of Toronto. So there's a lot of wealthy people living in Calgary, but where do they live? In this video, I'll take you on a tour of some of the jaw-dropping and wealthy locations in and around Calgary. Let's get into it. And before we begin, just two quick points. If you are thinking of making a move to Calgary, buying, selling, or relocating, I'd love to help you out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. And for the next point, for this video, I'm just focusing on the really high-end neighborhoods of Calgary. So I'm using the benchmark price of $2 million plus for this video. And before I get into each specific neighborhood, I'll just show you on the MLS system here from a broader perspective where you can find these homes. So I went back 1,000 days, just sold properties that are over $2 million in value. And I'm looking at Calgary and the surrounding counties. So you've got Wheatland County, Rocky View County, and Foothills County. And I also included Bragg Creek in here. And there were 574 sales in those areas in the past 1,000 days, over $2 million. And I'll just show you on the map here kind of where they're located. You see obvious patterns. So right here from the Glenmore Reservoir, to Mount Royal, this huge chunk of the inner city is very, uh, very wealthy. Just north of the river, the Kensington area, you've got Briar Hill, Kensington, the Hillhurst, West Hillhurst, uh, St. Andrews Heights, all around here. You've got Aspen Woods, Springbank Hill, Elbow Valley, Springbank over here. You've got Bears Paw over here. Watermark is included in Bears Paw. And there are parts of like Varsity Estates. And uh, Bowness, you've got homes that are backing on to the river. So these are the obvious patterns. If you look at East Calgary, there's, there's nothing at all. The west side of Calgary is definitely more expensive than the east half of it. And in South Calgary, there are some locations, um, usually around the lakes. So around the Mahogany Lake, Auburn Bay, Lake Bonavista, Sundance, and around the golf course in Willow Park, you'll find some higher end homes. And then everything around the reservoir, like I already mentioned, um, right into the inner city of, of uh, Mount Royal. And first up, and in no particular order, I'm just starting in the inner city of Calgary and working my way out, is the neighborhood of, of Upper Mount Royal. This is one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Calgary. You've got huge luxury estates that have been built along mature tree-lined streets. A very nice neighborhood. I would say that you could find some properties here that are between five to $10 million, so very expensive. And one of the great things about this neighborhood is the proximity to the downtown core and also 17th Avenue, all the shops shops, restaurants, bars, and the cafes along 17th Avenue. It's just a very convenient location, uh, very suburban, yet it's also very close to the downtown core. This is probably my favorite neighborhood in the entire city. Next up, just south of Mount Royal, we have the neighborhood of Elbow Park. Not all that different from Mount Royal. There's a bit of a hilly area, just like Mount Royal, but there's also a part that's directly on the Elbow River with some extravagant homes. My intro video was actually on a hill overlooking Elbow Park, so you can kind of see how beautiful the neighborhood is. You've got some of the best parks in the entire city that are around this neighborhood. You've got easy access to the Elbow River. So in the summertime, you've got tubing on the river. You've also got some swimming options, lots of parks, tennis courts, and stuff like that. 
You've also got easy access to 17th Avenue and 4th Street and downtown. So lots of shopping and dining options uh, close to this neighborhood. And lastly, you've got the Glencoe Club, which is like a private gym and uh, sports social club in the city. If we go east of the Elbow River, just south of the neighborhood of Mission, we come across Roxborough. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods of the city. Now, it's not very big. It's only about three blocks by three blocks, all luxury single family homes. Some of them back onto the river and some are backing onto like parks and green paths and stuff like that. A uh, very affluent neighborhood. What makes this area really cool, in my opinion, is that it's just south of Mission, which is a very built up. Um, neighborhood full of shops, restaurants, bars, cafes, all condos and townhouses. But when you cross over the river into Roxborough, it's the complete opposite. It's very quiet, very peaceful. And again, it's all very upscale, single family detached properties. A very interesting neighborhood. Next up, we have the neighborhood of Rideau Park. Now, this is just across the street from Roxborough, which we just covered. So everything that applies to Roxborough applies to Rideau Park as well. So you've got excellent location right close to Mission Cliff Bungalow. And I'd say the main difference between the two neighborhoods is that Rideau Park is slightly bigger and there are more homes backing on to the Elbow River. So the main idea behind this neighborhood is that you've got um, luxury homes backing onto the river and great access to uh, all the shops and stores on 4th Street. Now, if we go south of Elbow Park across the river, we'll come into the neighborhood of Alboya, which is another one of my favorite neighborhoods. Alboya is kind of a mixture of all the neighborhoods we've covered already. So there are parts of it that are hilly, just like Elbow Park and Mount Royal. And there are parts of it where there, it's spit flatter and there are homes backing on to the Elbow River, just like in Rideau Park and Roxborough. So the same kind of idea, luxury estate homes throughout the neighborhood. One thing that I like about this neighborhood is that you've got easy access to some of the best parks in the city, like Stanley Park. And it's a jumping on and off point um, for tubing along the Elbow River. And it's got one of the best beaches on the river as well. And there's also a bit of a swimming hole here. So this place is very lively in the summertime.
moving away from the river, we're going to go uphill now into the neighborhood of Britannia. So this neighborhood is perched on top of the hill overlooking Riverdale Park and Altador. And you've got spectacular views of the river valley and some homes have views of the downtown core as well. And this area, it's just um, very hilly, very scenic. You've got some spectacular views. Uh, one of the better neighborhoods of the city. And you also have easy access to the Elbow, Elbow River system, as well as it's home to the Calgary Golf and Country Club. Next up is Bel Air. Now this is one of the most prestigious luxury communities in Calgary. It's known for having huge property values, huge upscale homes, large lots, beautiful landscaping. It's just a very high-end neighborhood with a prime location. It's close to Glenmore Trail, Elbow Drive, Chinook Center. You've got an easy commute to the downtown core. And it's close to many parks, it's close to the Glenmore Reservoir, the Elbow River, and the Valley. Lots of golf courses around here, great for walking, cycling, picnicking. It just, uh, this area has everything, I would say. Now, if we jump across the Elbow River Valley from the Britannia area, we'll come into the area of Altador. Now, this is a contender for one of the best neighborhoods in the city. Now, I'll say that of all the areas that we've covered so far, Altador is the most attainable. You'll find condos here, townhouses, duplexes, but there are some homes here that can sell over $2 million. So it's got a bit of everything in this neighborhood. And um, so it's very popular. It's also called Mar de Loop sometimes, so you have all the all the shopping options along 33rd Avenue. This is what's referred to as Marta Loop. And um, so it's got all of the, the nightlife along 33rd Avenue. It's great for families. Some of the best schools in Calgary are located around this part of town. Um, great for dog lovers. You've got all sorts of cool dog parks throughout um, Altador. You've got easy access to Sandy Beach Park, which is usually the jumping off point for rafting down the Elbow River. Um, so it's just got a bit of everything. And you can also throw in North Glenmore Park um, into the Altador section, a very similar neighborhood. But for the most part, this neighborhood is not uh, everything exclusively over 2 million like the other areas. But uh, again, there are some pockets. And again, this is an, a neighborhood that is a contender for one of the best neighborhoods in Calgary. And on the north side of the Glenmore Reservoir, we come across the neighborhood of Lakeview. Now, this is a great neighborhood for outdoor enthusiasts because you have such close proximity to the North Glenmore Park, Weaselhead Nature Area, and the Earl Grey Golf Course. Now, I'd say for the most part, Lakeview, a lot of the homes are fairly traditional, like the older, like 1960s bungalows. 
And the average price is probably around 800000 for the neighborhood. But at the south part of the neighborhood, there's a little enclave called the Lakeview Village. And in this little area, you can find some really extravagant homes. Some homes have sold up to $5 million in this little pocket. So very high end. And again, this, this area is just great for outdoor enthusiasts. And it's actually not that far to get from Lakeview to downtown because you have such easy access to Crowchild Trail. On the east side of the Glenmore Reservoir, we come across the neighborhood of Eagle Ridge. Now, this is a very small neighborhood. It's just one tiny loop. There's probably like 40 or 50 homes in this neighborhood. So not very big, but very luxurious. You can see some really high-end properties in this neighborhood. I think it's great for people that are maybe working at the Rocky View Hospital. So it's, it's just across the street from the hospital, and it's tucked into kind of where Heritage Park is. So you've got easy access to Heritage Park, the hospital, all of the green paths along the Glenmore Reservoir. Uh, just a prime location and some of the most uh, stunning properties in Calgary can be found in Eagle Ridge. And on the south end of the reservoir, we have the neighborhood of Bayview. Again, not a very big neighborhood, bigger than Eagle Ridge, but still only uh, probably a few hundred homes are available here. A uh, luxury, exclusive neighborhood with homes backing on to the reservoir. And because of that, they're quite expensive. And Bayview is also home to one of the marinas on the Glenmore Reservoir. And just across the street from Bayview, we have the neighborhood Pump Hill. And this is one of the craziest neighborhoods in the city of Calgary. I think some of the biggest homes I've ever seen in Calgary are located in Pump Hill. I've always felt that it's a bit odd, to be honest, because it's not like it's backing directly on to the reservoir like Bayview or Eagle Ridge are. It's not right downtown like Mount Royal is. It's not directly on the Elbow River. But uh, the lots are massive. The homes are massive. Probably some of the wealthiest people in Calgary are living in Pump Hill. Um, it's a very cool neighborhood, very scenic. And... Um, and it's definitely one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Calgary. And next up, I'm just going to head west of the city and cover the areas of Elbow Valley, Springbank, and Bearspaw. So I'll start off first with Elbow Valley. Now, this is a highly sought after community just on the west edge of Calgary along Highway Number 8. And this area, it's kind of like a master plan community. You've got large estate type properties, not quite like acreages like you see in Springbank and Bearspaw, but you'll see huge homes and they're all um, backing on to either parks or green paths or ponds and stuff like that. It's a very master plan type community and all the homes here are really high end. It's a very uh, private neighborhood and uh, I think it's one of the best neighborhoods on the west end of Calgary. up I'll cover the area of Springbank. So this is more of a region than it is a neighborhood and it's located on the west side of Calgary just outside the city limits and it does cover a huge area and what you'll find here are luxury country acreage properties and I think most of them are either two, two acres minimum and they're all super high end. This is a, a really wealthy part of the Calgary area and you'll see rolling foothills, you'll see mountains in the distance, a very scenic neighborhood and you'll find some really high-end custom-built homes in the Springbank area.
And going north from Springbank, we'll come across the region of Bearspaw. Now, Bearspaw and Springbank are both very similar neighborhoods. I find the main difference, in my opinion, is that Bearspaw feels a bit more private. It's more wooded compared to Springbank, which is a bit more of an open feeling, I find. But both areas will have fantastic views of the Rocky Mountains. Uh, a lot of properties have water features. There's excellent landscaping throughout these two communities. And I think they're great for people that want to live close to Calgary, but they also want to live out in the country. And it's not that far of a commute from Bearspaw or Springbank to downtown Calgary. I would say it's about a half an hour drive um, from those areas into the downtown core of the city. And uh, But it feels totally different. It feels like you're on a farm somewhere, but you're actually not that far from the inner core. And it's, they're great for families, very safe neighborhoods. And all of the properties are very high end. So it's a very exclusive clientele that live in these areas. And I do think these are both contenders for some of the best neighborhoods in and around the Calgary region. And in Northwest Calgary, there are a few pockets that uh, have homes over $2 million. The first one I'll talk about is Varsity. Now, for the most part, Varsity is, uh, is a neighborhood that you'll find a lot of condos in. You'll find some homes in the standard price ranges. I would say all in all, the average price in Varsity nowadays is probably in the 800s, uh, maybe even in the, in the 900s. But occasionally, you will find some really high-end homes sell in the Varsity Estates area. And most of these homes are backing on to the Silver Springs Golf Course. And this area altogether, I think it's one of my favorite neighborhoods in the Northwest. Just a prime location near the university, near some beautiful parks, the golf course, easy access to Crowchild Trail. And it's just a very mature neighborhood, lots of uh, nice trees and landscaping. All in all, I wouldn't say the neighborhood is uh, $2 million, but there are some pockets where you can definitely find homes like that. But overall, I'd say it's, uh, it's a neighborhood that's more eight hundred to 900000 range. And moving along, I'm going to cover some of the inner city northwest neighborhoods now. And first up is the neighborhood of St. Andrews Heights. And this is home to one of the more famous streets in the city, and that's Toronto Crescent. So the homes that are on Toronto Crescent, they are... They're fronting onto a cliff with excellent views or outstanding views of the river valley and the downtown core. And as such, you got some really fancy homes that are located on this crescent. I would say some of the most uh, expensive homes in the city have sold on Toronto Crescent. It is that caliber. And uh, the neighborhood itself is fantastic. Easy access to the Foothills Hospital, which is just at the opening of the neighborhood. Easy access to downtown, to the Kensington area. Just a prime location, and this is a great place to, uh, to buy a home and raise a family. And next up, I'm going to cover three neighborhoods in one, and that is Parkdale, West Hillhurst, and Hillhurst. So this is the Kensington region of Calgary. And for the most part, this area, the average price, I would say, is around $1 million. But you do come across a few homes here and there that do sell over $2 million dollars. Typically, they're like spec homes, or they're backing onto a park or a green path. Um, so there are some sales over $2 million. Not that many, but they do happen. And this is one of my favorite neighborhoods or regions of the city. It's just close to everything. You're close to the UFC. You're close to downtown. You've got some excellent parks. You're close to the river. Just a very ideal location. Some of the best schools around here. Just a very easy place to live. And I think that's why you're seeing more and more homes that are selling at this price point. Now, perched above the Kensington area is the neighborhood of Briar Hill. Now, this is a pretty cool neighborhood where it's kind of built up the side of the hill. So it's kind of stepped up and it has a really neat vibe to it. 
So Briar Hill, you've got stunning views of the River Valley and downtown, easy access to Kensington, easy access to downtown. And there are some very pricey homes here as well. The highest I think I saw was around $6 million. So a very pricey neighborhood. And last of my Northwest inner city neighborhoods is Rosedale, not too different from Briar Hill and St. Andrews Heights in that it's perched on top of a cliff overlooking the downtown. Now of the three neighborhoods, I would say Rosedale has the best views of the downtown simply because it's closer and it's directly in front of all the high rise buildings. And the road that runs along the cliff edge is called Crescent Road. And the homes on that road can sell for huge amounts of money. They've got unbeatable views. And I think I saw one that sold over $10 million. So huge prices. Some of the best homes in all of Calgary can be found on Crescent Road. Now the area itself, it offers a great location. It's walking distance from downtown, walking distance from Kensington, easy access to State, the University of Calgary, the Trans-Canada Highway. Just a very central location and you've got unbeatable views. And Rosedale, even inside the neighborhood, not directly on Crescent Road, you'll still find some fantastic homes. They're all on big lots in Rosedale, and they're all single-family detached properties. And moving along, I'm going to go into the south part of the city. And first up is Willow Park. Now, for the most part, Willow Park is around 700000 800000 on average. There are parts of it that are actually quite affordable at entry level, and there are also parts of it that are really high end. The high end part of this neighborhood is, are the homes backing onto the Willow Park Golf Course, which is a private course in the city. So those homes can get quite pricey, but overall the neighborhood is not out of reach for many people. And it's a great neighborhood. It's a very mature neighborhood, lots of nice mature trees, easy access to Fish Creek Provincial Park, the Trico Center, McLeod Trail with all of its shops and restaurants. Um, just a very convenient location, kind of like South Central Calgary. And this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in the South. And next up, I'm going to cover the two neighborhoods of Lake Bonavista and Sundance. So these are two lake communities in the south part of the city. And for the most part, the price point, I would say, is around 600000 to 900000 But there are pockets of homes that are backing on to the lakes that are quite pricey. You can find some sales in Lake Bonavista up to $3 million. But those are just reserved for the homes backing on to the lake. And the rest of the neighborhood is homes that are more in like the six hundred to 900000 price point. Now, these two neighborhoods are very popular. They're very family-friendly neighborhoods, lots of parks, lots of shopping amenities on McLeod Trail. Uh, they are premier neighborhoods in the south, but for the most part, they're not $2 million neighborhoods, except for the homes that are backing onto the lakes. And going further south, I'll touch on Mahogany and Auburn Bay. These two neighborhoods are quite similar. They are both lake communities as well. And they're also both master plan communities. So you will find all product types, all price ranges here. You'll find condos all the way to mansions on the lake. So similar to Lake Bonavista and Sundance, the pricey homes in these two neighborhoods are the ones that are backing directly onto the lake, which can sell over $2 million. But overall, these two neighborhoods, the average prices that you'll find here are in the 700000 price point. But again, you will find lots of uh, really high-end homes backing onto the lakes in these two neighborhoods. Last up on my list is the subsection of Cranston called Riverstone. So not the main part of Cranston, but if you go down the hill, you'll come across uh, the Riverstone area, which is estate homes backing onto the Bow River. So this would be a great location for people that are outdoorsy, adventurous. You got easy access to the Bow River for cycling. This is actually a great spot for fishing from the Stony Trail part of the river all the way to Carsland. It's known to be excellent uh, fly fishing for, for rainbow trout. And um, so the area is actually quite scenic and peaceful as well. And you definitely find a lot of newer type homes that can sell well over two, uh, well over $2 million. And actually, I forgot about three areas, so I'm going to cover them right now. And that would be Aspen Woods and Springbank Hill on the west end of Calgary. And the neighborhood of Watermark, which is kind of in the Bears Paw region. So first up, let's talk about Aspen Woods and Springbank Hill. Kind of similar. These are at the deep end of the west side of Calgary. Now, a lot of people would argue that the west side of Calgary is the most popular part of the city. Personally, I like the inner city more, but followed by that, I, I would say the West End would be my favorite. 
And uh, this part of town is popular for many reasons, uh, highly desirable. You've got a lot of private schools on the west side of Calgary. It is the most scenic part of the city as well. So you've got excellent views of the Rocky Mountains, uh, the rolling foothills, uh, really high-end properties in this neighborhood. Not all that far from downtown, I'd say from the west end to the inner core is maybe 20 minutes. And it's very, very uh, safe, very peaceful neighborhood, very scenic. And uh, these two neighborhoods, there are a lot of properties that do sell over $2 million. And uh, I would definitely put a star beside them if you are thinking of moving to Calgary and looking for something on the west end of Calgary. And the last area I forgot to mention earlier is the Watermark neighborhood in Bearspaw. So even though it's in Bearspaw, it's still slightly different. It's kind of a hybrid. It's not directly in the in the city limits and it's not full on country residential like like Bears Pie is it's uh, kind of in between it's a fantastic neighborhood it's all really high end homes on huge lots um very master planned you've got lots of trails water features there's a there's a park and a courtyard in the very middle there's a like a huge pond in the in the town center of it uh this is one of my favorite new neighborhoods in Calgary and uh, if you are curious about this neighborhood, I actually made a more in-depth video specifically on Watermark. And if you click the link at the top, it will direct you to it. It is a spectacular neighborhood and there are plenty of homes that are selling to $3 million and higher. Uh, definitely one of the best neighborhoods on the northwest uh, end of the city. there you have it that's my take on the ultra expensive neighborhoods of calgary i hope you liked it and again if you have any questions at all give me a call shoot me a text send me an email i'd love to help you out thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next episode